friends. So Mother's Day is on Sunday. I'm gonna make her an apron. I have this fabric that I thrifted. Okay, so I found this picture. This is on Anthropology, but this is kind of what I'm gonna go for. Just this bottom part. I'm not gonna include this top part. Here's a little bit of an update. I sewed two pieces together by just doing a fold over hem. Since I cut the fabric on the fold, this was already like a finished edge technically. So now I'm gonna do the gathering. <laughs> We're now gathered, so now I'm gonna make the waistband. So what I did was I basically made a bias tape. I folded these in so the edge would be finished, and then I just folded it in half. So now we're just gonna sew the skirt part of the apron into this like bias tape. I just marked where the middle was and then folded it over. This is kind of what it will look like. Okay, I've never put pockets on anything before. I cut out like a pocket shape. And then I finish the edges with a zigzag stitch so then I can fold them in. And then I can stitch them on with a folded hem. Although the curve might be a little difficult to sew, I made some more like fake bias tape. This will be the top of the pocket. So I think I'm gonna stitch this on first and then fold this up. I'm actually very, very proud of myself. This is probably my best sewing project as far as like neatness goes. So I'm really excited to send it to my mom. I hope she likes it. Here's a little prop. I made another apron. Super basic, but I made it for Elliot, so. And that is what I did today. Haven't been outside today, so I'm gonna go for a run, get some fresh air, because I've literally been sitting in my apartment all day long. Hi, I've managed to make a complete mess in here because I started a project today. I made a dress, like a little baby doll dress. I used the smocking technique that I used in the last vlog and it actually turned out really good. It's a little bit short, so it's kind of like a shirt slash short dress. Here it is, I just attached the bow. The bow is on a safety pin, I just put it there because it's kind of like signature, I guess, now. A little dress. And this is just a scrap piece of fabric, so there wasn't like a ton of flexibility. If you guys want a tutorial for this dress, let me know, because believe it or not, this was just like a rectangle of fabric. One thing that's hard with sewing tutorials is I trace a lot of my clothes to make things, or I kind of just like freehand it, which is kind of hard to show you guys how to make the same thing, because it's a lot of like tailoring here and there. I kind of just like throw it together and then tailor it, which is probably not a great way to learn how to sew. I am planning on kind of taking a few steps backwards and then learning how to use patterns and stuff, but um, this one was just a rectangle. I'm working on packing up my mom's Mother's Day present because I will not be with her this year, unfortunately. I am gonna mail her something, so I'm gonna get it out today so it'll get there by Saturday. Kind of a uneventful Tuesday. Good morning, it is Wednesday and I've spent most of the morning working on drafting this bodice piece from a YouTube tutorial. It's supposed to be like your perfect fit based on your measurements, but I hate to say it, I just suck at measuring things. I don't know why I hate it so much, but I suck at measuring things, so this has been kind of a struggle for me, but I'm hoping it turns out okay and I will update you. Once I cut out the pattern stuff, I'll probably sew a draft like mock-up piece of fabric and see if it fits. And then I think you should be able to like add zippers and stuff into it too, but I've never added a zipper to anything either. I'm just trying to take a step back for a second and learn more about sewing and like techniques and fitting because I do want to learn how to use patterns. I'm about to go to the scrap exchange, but I just did something really cool. I already showed you guys me making that pattern block and here it is. 
So this is supposed to like fit my body perfectly. It has like the contours. I'll link the tutorial that I followed. It was super clear. I just made it on paper. But now that I have this, I can adjust it to make similar pieces, but with different cuts. So I made this, which is basically just a cropped version and then with like a different neckline. Now I have this, which will be like the front part of a dress or top. I can do sharing on the back, which I just learned too. And then for the skirt part, which if I am making a dress, then I can do some gathering, which I also learned like a few months ago. It's kind of cool to learn like a bunch of different techniques and then put them all together. Now I'm getting really excited. So I'm gonna go to the scrap exchange to get some fabric to hopefully make a dress. I've literally been doing this for like hours. I feel like I'm really trying to take time to learn some sewing techniques this week. I got the prettiest woven fabric at the scrap exchange today. This is one of them, and then this is the other one. I really love this one. This one's like so cool. I don't know if you can tell like the texture of it, but also got this mini ironing board, but I need to make a new cover for it because this one's kind of like dingy. Again for dinner are these plant-based tacos. I made these in my what I eat in a week video, so you can check it out there if you want to learn how to make it. I'm wearing the shirt I just made, but it's not perfect. I haven't finished it yet. There's like a few finishing touches I need to do. I finished the top. I still don't really know what to do with the bottom, but for now it's wearable for me. It's super cute. I think I just need to be done, but I learned so much from this top. A lot of people have commented that they want to learn how to sew this summer. So please join me because I'm also trying to learn how to sew. Definitely not perfect or anything, but I did not use a pattern. I used that bodice that I made. If you are learning how to sew, maybe try to make your own bodice block because I feel like that it makes it easier to understand like how clothes like morph to your body. You kind of just learn all of this terminology. Like with sewing, there's so much freaking jargon. You kind of learn it as you go along. So every time I learn a new technique, I write it down in this notebook. So I have like, notes of like settings on my machine and maybe like tips and stuff like that so i don't have to go like look up all the settings and stuff if i try it again so i did learn how to draft a pattern using the bodice block again not perfect but i'm getting somewhere with it and then i also learned how to put in a zipper because i ended up making it too small to fit over my body without needing assistance getting it on and off so i added a zipper and it's supposed to be an invisible zipper but i don't have like one of those invisible zipper foot feet it was a little bit difficult i was so laser focused on finishing this last night because it was late and everything was closed i literally ripped a zipper out of this skirt old skirt that i had in like my depop pile which is fine because i can use this fabric for something else but i literally ripped the zipper out of this because i really wanted to finish it i think if i make a lot in one week that i'll start calling the weekly vlogs like what i made this week vlogs yeah we're learning how to show no more excuses I kind of want to give another go at this top now that I know what I do now. I think I'll switch up the back to more elastic. I started off with sharing the back, which I'll probably stick with in the next top I make. Just share the back so it's like able to be put on your body a little bit better. I have a little draft like sharing the back so you're actually able to like stretch it, put it over your head, which is a big thing I've come to find out now that I've started sewing is you have to account for how to get it on your body if you're making more fitted garments. I'm telling you the learning curve of sewing sucks, but we gotta get through it in order to make our entire wardrobe. So that's the goal, right? I found this little thing at the scrap exchange today. It was only a dollar, but it basically just holds a bunch of thread. It also holds little bobbins at the top because normally I kind of just keep them in these tins. So I feel like this is nicer, so I don't have to go like digging through all of them. I also found this fabric, which there's not that much of it, so I don't really know what to do with it, but I feel like it's very like home decor kind of. I was worried someone lost their cat, but it said outdoor cat on their tag. So I feel better now. It is a sewing marathon this week because I think I'm gonna start another project today. I have this pattern that I bought a while ago and I wanna learn how to use patterns. So I'm gonna try it. It's a pretty flattering dress. It's not my size, so I might have to adjust a little bit, but I wanted to use this pretty, almost like watercolor print 
fabric that's floral because I think that'd be really pretty. That was probably so painful for people that actually sew to watch me cut out these pattern pieces, but we did it. So like I said before, I don't have interfacing. So instead of the interfacing, I think I just, I'm gonna double line that and then yeah, we're just gonna sew. been told that you're supposed to iron your darts on like a round surface so I just roll up a towel and iron it like that one thing I do get a little confused about is where you're supposed to put like this flap like are you supposed to sew it down or just leave it or I'm assuming you just include it in the seam when you sew up the sides other than that is there anything else you need to do Front is done. Coffee break. Okay, some updates for you. I finished like the body part. I totally cut out the facings wrong, so I had to redo that. I don't have like the interfacing fabric, so I'm just gonna do like a double lined fabric because I think from the research that I've done, my assumption is that the interfacing just adds structure. So I'm feeling like if I just double layer the fabric, it should be fine. Even if it's not, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this, but I think it's gonna work out, so. The facing is done, I just need to sew it in and then I think I should be done. This is why I use the microphone. Because the train goes all day long. Okay, I finished, but there's a few alterations that I still wanna make. It doesn't fit me exactly the way I want it to, but overall, I love it. So, I'll show you. I tried to take in the waist and now the hips look kinda goofy, so I need to fix that. Yeah, we're getting there. I do think I need a little bit of a break before I do all of the finishing touches on the dress, but I think this is the last thing I'm gonna make this week. So I will be taking a break from sewing for the foreseeable future. I sewed so much this week, but I am really glad that I took the time this week to learn some sewing techniques because I learned so much. Sewing darts, doing the bodice, doing a facing, learning how to use a pattern, which I think I'm gonna start doing more often because you kind of learn different techniques that people use to join garments and like make things seamless and stuff like that. Nice. 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 Nice.